The war continues to weigh, of course, on the minds of many right here in Connecticut. Especially in New Haven tonight as members of the Jewish community are gathering to celebrate the first night of Hanukkah. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarlane is live from the New Haven Green with more. Matt. Well, Aaron and Mark, you can see the menorah right here behind me. They had a big celebration here, and then not too long ago, they just sort of left with a rolling parade of menorahs affixed to a number of cars throughout here in downtown New Haven. And while this is the first night of Hanukkah, as you said, today also marks two months since the terror attacks in Israel, something that is not lost on those celebrating. The first candle is lit. The first night of Hanukkah is a monumental night. The Jewish Festival of Lights and a celebration on New Haven's green filled with music and food. In the first night of Hanukkah, we light the first candle, which shows on what? Starting to spread light in the world. A message members of New Haven's Jewish community say is needed now more than ever. The menorahs are a sign that a victory, that although the Greeks try to come and defeat us, we will prevail with light. Especially this year, we have modern-day Greeks. We have the Hamas and all that, the Semitism on campus, etc. We have to stay strong. That's because while they celebrate Hanukkah, they also know today marks two months since the terror attacks in Israel and the ongoing war. Hi, I'm Rappaport, his family there. I have a sister now in Israel, younger sister studying there, I have some cousins that are in the army and some close friends. So it's very important for them and for the whole world around that we just add in light, add candles every night, and just add in goodness and kindness. With what's going on in the world, New Haven police staffed up the green with officers for tonight's celebration. And Connecticut's public safety commissioner says the state is staying vigilant too. We're continuous, continuing to share information and, and stay apprised of what's happening, where it's happening, not just within the state, but nationally. And here in New Haven, organizers hope the holiday resonates with everyone, regardless of religion. Every single person is a menorah, and every single person can spread light and beauty and clarity. And that rabbi says that this public lighting display here on the New Haven Green, one of the oldest in the country. In fact, the city says it dates back 42 years. We're live with the mobile newsroom in New Haven. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.